For my whole life, I've been like relying on people and stuff, and in this last year, I've become really independent, but driving is st still something I couldn't do. I'm going into grade 12, and I ride to school with a teacher, so uh, like, in a way, it's weird. Miss Baker comes to my house in the morning, uh, brings me to school, she also drops me off. That's cool that she does that because our school doesn't have like a wheelchair accessible bus or anything. I'm Aaron Friesen and I live in Ranfurly, Alberta. I'm 16 years old, I go to Innisfree Del Nord School and I'm going into grade 12. I've been in a wheelchair for my whole life. I have cerebral palsy which is a condition that uh, well, pretty much it tightens your muscles over in your whole body pretty much, but it affects my legs mostly. So they're, uh, my legs are obviously very weak, I can't use them much. So I rely on my upper body to do everything. I'm hoping to drive here for the first day of my grade 12 year. I don't know, it's just something kind of important to me. I just hope I can do it. Just, you know, it's my grade 12 year and it'd be something cool to do. I am Agatha Friesen, Aaron's mom. We are in the Ranfurly Post Office, which is also my home. I run the post office out of my home. Aaron is an awesome boy, really strong-willed boy that never gives up. He talked about driving since he was a little boy. Uh, he was determined always to do what other kids did. Once I turned 14, you know, I got my learners, all that, but it didn't help because I didn't have a vehicle to drive with, so then I started looking into that and the prices were horrible. And then when we went to go pick up my new wheelchair, I saw this poster. Well, basically, Aaron entered a contest online and if he could get enough votes, then they would give him a van. Aaron didn't win. He came out fifth in Canada, I think, was the final standings, but he didn't win. But that didn't stop Aaron from wanting to have the van and that didn't stop the people around him from wanting him to have that van. Well, I was kind of upset, but I didn't let it slow me down because I knew I had lots of people behind me, so we started fundraising. And we just try to help him get achieve what he wants because he won't give up anyway, so we might as well help him. <laughs> we had to work really hard. But it was about a year of fundraising till, till we got the van. Seeing the look on his face when they handed him the keys was the most thrill of all. <laughs> It's great, it feels awesome. When I first picked it up, it was unreal. I could finally have it there. It's a cool color too, I like it. I probably like the wave of independence that hits me when I just start driving. But when I was younger, it's, it's, I thought about driving, but I always thought I'd never be able to do it. I don't know, it feels great every time I climb into it. It's really been a back saver to get the van. I can do basically everything now, so driving is almost the last thing on my list. So uh, I went th through the AMA online training. It was great that it was online because they're all set have to drive back and forth to Edmonton. Well, he's at Glenrose to take uh, the driver's training because they have this specialized vehicle with the hand controls, which is exactly what he needs. I've, I've done 10 lessons and he said I'll probably need about two more and then I can go for my drivers. Well, I can't wait, it'll be great. It'll, it'll feel amazing because like I've worked so long, first to get the van, now to get my drivers. It's kind of important to me. I want to show people that I can do it, right? Because I've, once I was in the contest, that's kind of where I started it all and I have to finish it now. He told us that he was going to have his license in time for September to drive to school the first day. And I kind of told him, I know you've done a lot, Aaron, but I think this is a long shot. But you know, with it being the beginning of August, he just might make it. <laughs> Without a doubt, he will get his license. The first day that Aaron doesn't need me, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, it will be extremely exciting because I will have seen this from beginning to end. I am thrilled, absolutely thrilled for this young man. My whole life, uh, I've just kind of wanted to be like everybody else. So this is one more thing that I'll just God, make people forget more about my wheelchair maybe and I'm just looking forward to finally doing it on my own. Finally being able to just go out and drive. <laughs>